Hey guys, today I'm doing a super requested video. So many of you guys wanted me to show you how I do Olivia's hair and today is finally the day! I'm so excited! I was actually really nervous to film this video because anyone who has kids know that when it's wash day, especially kids with natural hair, there can be a lot of whining and a lot of stress involved in it so I wasn't really sure how it would work out especially with the filming and on top of that but I am so happy and proud of Olivia. She did such a good job. Olivia has very similar hair to me except for it's looser and curl pattern, it's a lot silkier, and it's more fine than my hair. So it took me a little bit of time to figure out how to work with her hair, especially since she's so active, she's so hyper, and she has so much energy, and she just loves to run around, tumble, roll on the carpet and the grass and all that kind of stuff. So her hair has gone through a lot in the past four years, but I finally have a routine with her hair that has been working. Her hair has been growing very strong and healthy. And the best part about it is that it's very simple. So the routine that you're gonna see in this video is what I do every single week. I always install a protective style in her hair and that protective style is usually cornrows because they stay in her hair really well. They last throughout all the rumbling and tumbling that she's doing throughout the week. Um, if she wants to go swimming or she wants to get it wet, it's totally fine. And the best part is that her hair isn't tangled. And so when it comes to wash day again, it's a lot easier to go through wash day because there's not any tangles or anything like that. So um, this is what I've been doing every week. It's worked really, really well. I usually save any like cute hairstyles that I want to do, like those little puffs or like if I if she wears her hair out, that'll only be on special occasions, which is why you don't really see it on my Instagram a lot because she's usually just wearing cornrows and that's how we like it and that's how she likes it. And my only goal is that when she gets old enough to do her hair, she will have hair on her head to do. And so that's what we're trying to do. I don't care if she doesn't have like a bomb hairstyle every single day. I just want her to have hair on her head and be able to let her have an active lifestyle as a kid. So that's what the goal is here. If you guys have any questions about this process, just put them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it's helpful and I'll see you after. Bye. Okay, so I wash her hair in the bathtub. It's just easier for me. And then I can wash her body right after. I keep her hair in a braided protective style throughout the week. So I just took the braids out. I grab my care bath visor. This thing is seriously a lifesaver. Olivia hates when the water touches her face and she freaks out. So this helps to contain the water and keep it off her face. It does a really good job. So I'll put that on and then I rinse her hair to get it wet for shampoo. Taking the visor off, I grab my DIY African black soap shampoo and I'll place a link for the recipe in the description box. I just apply that to her scalp and work it in. Making sure to massage her scalp and loosen any dirt, getting it nice and clean. And you'll notice those suds are brown, that's just the color of the soap. Placing the visor back on, and I got a drip of water on her face, so naturally she's freaking out. I'm just gonna rinse that shampoo out of her hair. Oh, and I should probably mention, I have a double shower head attachment, which makes it really easy for me to wash her hair in the tub. This one's by Moen, and it has a really long hose attachment to reach across the tub. It also has different pulse speeds so the water doesn't fly all over the place, and it happens to make my water pressure better. I will, of course, link the model I have in the description box. So after rinsing all the shampoo out, remove the visor again, and I'm grabbing one of my current favorite deep conditioners by Shea Moisture, the Mangango and Hemp Seed Oils High Porosity Moisture Seal Mask. I love that it's really hydrating, it helps to seal the moisture into the hair cuticles, and it's made with all natural ingredients that protect and fortify the hair. Olivia's hair does really well with pretty much anything that works well on my hair, and this mask is no exception to that rule. So I make sure to work this into every strand using a bit of water to help make it more slippery. Then I split her hair into sections to detangle. Working small sections at a time, I finger detangle first, and then gently detangle with a wide tooth comb. Grabbing another small section and repeat. Finger detangle and gently comb out with a wide tooth comb. Now just repeat on the rest of her head, working gently as to not anger the child. Once 
When it's all nice and detangled, grab your bath visor and rinse. And I make sure to rinse really, really well. You don't want any of that conditioner left on the scalp. Just make sure that it's nice and clean. And here's just another view of that visor just to show you how well it works. No tears, yay! And Olivia's favorite part of this routine, when we're done. cover up her hair with a t-shirt to catch all that excess water and then I just secure the t-shirt with a hair tie so she can walk around with it. All right time to style her hair. For this Olivia watches cartoons and gets snacks to keep her occupied and that helps to reduce the whining and fussiness. I'm gonna seal the moisture into her hair using my DIY mango and kapuasu butter mixture and of course I'm gonna add the recipe in the description box. Now, Olivia likes to play really rough during the week, so in order to keep her hair healthy and protected, I always braid her hair up, always. Sometimes the style changes, but for the most part, I'm usually installing cornrows in her hair because it's quick, painless, and lasts throughout the week without coming undone. So parting her hair and working one row at a time, I'm gonna rehydrate the hair using rose water, which is extremely hydrating, moisturizing, and it just smells amazing. Oya's hair dries out really fast, so this helps to replenish that moisture. And using a tiny bit more of that DIY mango buttercream to help seal the moisture in. And don't worry, I'm not being rough with her hair here. This girl just has no control over her neck. Definitely living up to her bobblehead name. Gently combing out the section one last time, and I just cornrow back. For me, cornrowing someone else's hair is a lot easier than doing it on my own hair, so this usually goes pretty fast. If you want a detailed cornrowing tutorial, I've already created one, and I'll link it in the description box for you. Give the hair a little twirl at the end of the cornrow to seal the braid in, and move on to the next row. Now repeat, hydrate with rose water, especially the ends. Seal the moisture in with a cream-based sealant. I'm using my DIY mango butter. Comb the section out gently and cornrow back. Oh, and time for a new snack. This is a team effort, y'all, and daddy's on snack duty. And that's it. Now just repeat on the rest of the head. Making rows, hydrating, sealing, and cornrowing. And I don't worry too much about making these braids super perfect. She's four and those braids are gonna get frizzy by midweek, so just do your best. So when I'm done, here's how Olivia's hair looks. Nice and shiny, moisturized braids with a healthy, clean scalp. This protective style is vital in helping Olivia's hair grow healthy and strong. Because she's so active, she needs a hairstyle that's gonna resist pulling, rubbing, and getting dirty or wet. I've tried so many hairstyles and this one is the most reliable yet. I may show some other easy protective styles that work too later on if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comments below. All right, Olivia, that's it, say bye. So that's it, that's how easy it is to do her hair. This process usually takes about an hour and a half to an hour 45, depending on her mood and how she's doing. But yeah, again, I'm having to do this every single week in order to keep her hair healthy, otherwise I risk knots. And her hair gets pretty damaged if I leave it in for longer. You put headbands on it to make it look cuter, you can wrap them under, you can do so many different things with the cornrows. So it's not like it's super limiting, you can still dress it up and let her have hair accessories while you have it. But it's just better for Olivia's hair that I keep it in there, that way her hair can grow and still resist all the activity that she's doing. So I hope that this video helped if you guys have a daughter or a son with similar hair type and you're having issues this has really really worked for me and it's so simple if you have any questions just leave them below and if you like this video I will show you some more protective styles I like to do with her hair sometimes I do switch it up even though I like the cornrows because you know change is nice sometimes all right guys I'll see you in the next one
If you missed my last video, it was a Halloween special. It was so much fun and I promise you it is not scary and has a really, really good message. If you want to see my Halloween special titled Squad Goals, you can click the link on top. Alright guys, hope to see you there.